<clears throat> What's up guys? Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Now, I swear, I oh, hear it is. Here we are, and you now welcome back to The Witcher 3, we're going to do the Return the Crookback Bog mission, because, um, yeah, the Baron asked us if we could help, and we get extra pay, I mean, I could do with some money, and it will give us some XP, so we're ready for Pairs of Novigrad, which suggested level is 10, I'm 7. Suggested level of this is 9. We've also got the invitation here for 6. Series room. We're actually going to do series room first. Because that's right here. And I'll get some more XP. So. Pam, param, pam, pam, param, pam, pam. What is up with everyone here? So Siri was here. And stash this. Crap. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And now I'm starting to regret I sold that armor. But boom. And? Looks a bit silly. All right. The natural obscurity of curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Huh. Where'd Siri get this? Hmm. Dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. Is this a spinning top? A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Sir, why we're up our noses and fright them. Gonna kill so them you're Gritka. I am. And you're Geralt. Oh, no. Does she have white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf? Siri told me about her. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. Huh. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Oh. Do you know where Siri is? One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Hmm. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. I'm not playing. I'm helping. Alright. Well, they gave us 100 XP, so... I would say it's pretty good. We could go do the invitation. Or, even better, why not do what I've been wanting to do? Let's go, uh... win some cards. I actually didn't do the ones in Valon. I beg you. I'm innocent, I swear. Get it with profit, let me order a 
Because I um, did in game before I could do it. So before you do the last um, mission, you need to uh, you get a frick ton of green guards, then a decoy. Yeah, we'll buy two decoys. Nif Guardian armor. You know what? Might be able to sell. Yeah, I'm gonna sell a bunch of my swords here. Oh, I guess I might as well do that too. There we go. Doesn't deal any more damage than the one I've already got. And I can use these cartridges, but they cost, but... Interesting. Hmm. And this armor is pretty cool, but you gotta be level 10. But I think it might just be worth getting. See and I got these swords now, which is very nice. Like, look at that silver sword. Pretty cool. Need some more. Oh, was it gonna? No, let's go to shop. You sell like no armor other than these, which I actually only buy from you. Bit of crafting, and I know this is actually, uh, well, <clears throat> that good. And a Gwent will we'll bet ten so I can get twenty. Of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Um Sets all siege card oh okay, that's siege. Range. Clear wheelers are quite useful. And then the decoy. That's a real crap card. I let him win. Huh. Now 
Thank you for doing that. I don't think that's special. Let me beat you. Yearning to play a few. <sighs> well, at least I got these these two cards, which will come in handy, I reckon. But first, let's release the Ballista. Oh, that's a real bad card they have right now. I'm gonna have to pass here. And just hope. Oh, the last card. No! The draw. Battle cannot end in a draw. You can play a rematch using the same decks or surrender. This is actually really good. I hit him hard this first time. You see, like he's already out beating me, but now. Come on, these two. Oh, you fucker. The decoy helped at least.
Let's see. He brings along his brothers. Make it go to nine. This card makes it so we go to sixteen. Easy. Nah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> there we go. Ten crowns. And we should have got a card? Yeah. Not sure for who exactly, but let's find out. Oh, it was for us. And while I'm here, inventory. Check these pants on. They look better. They suit the armor more. And best of all, they just work better. Cook those. What are you looking at? Stop bothering us for fun. Let's keep moving. We've had a bit of a glow up now, haven't we? Insert Giga Chad, um, Witcher. Show me what you got. Yeah, he's still only got Nilfgaard troops, which annoys the hell out of me. Alright, I mean, we got some cool Gwent guards, now let's, uh, try and use them and then we'll make our way to Novigrad. This guy's a wee bit of a journey, but we can, uh, we can get there. <sighs> Jesus Roach, you like take forever to get close because you just walk. Come on. Once we start going to Toussaint, that's where we start getting the real cool horse armor, which is why I want to do the money glitch, which will only happen once I start going to Kier Mohen. So, and we're not going there yet. Because I think the recommended level is like 12. And also, it's story focused, so I just gotta keep doing the story, I'll get there. Easy. Just keep doing the story, I'll be at the level. As long as I do my, my thing. Oh yeah, this sword is good. Look at that. Oh, freaking archers. Diagram of huh. 
I feel like that's not everything. Yeah. And then loot all these corpses. Novigrad sword, Novigrad long sword. No do for me. No, I just realised we got two points. So make it so this is at max, and now we can get undying. Points will immediately be considered to restore the amount of restored is based on the number of regen. Pretty much what this does is, right? Hold up. Yeah. So now if I were to add a non-vitality related Damn it I didn't realize removing it also completely removes it I didn't realize that Thankfully I can craft another Still though I can't do it right now because I'm moving on a horse. If I dismount, I will be able to. Well, we're nearly there. we are able to maybe get one of those special cards. You know what I mean, like the... The heroes. The hero cards. That? Take it easy. Sound like a giant or... Looks like this guy is not only does he have a mission for me. Been expecting, eh? Come closer. We know each other. Not personal like, though I've seen ye many times. I've a gift. I see the future. Yours as well. But not for free, I guess. I don't ask much. If you've a bite to eat. Wanted to ask you. I I play Gwent. And I we can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because it's selective like, only applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will ever shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win a Gwent. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you better not be cheating That's Gwent. <laughs> Oh, he plays as, of course, the Wild Hunt. Oh, these are decent cards, actually, until we got to these. Yeah, okay, so we'll withdraw that one and withdraw that one. Just to start off, to get, like... Actually, we won't use those. What we instead do is notice how... One of my cards worth that many. I'm tracking my spy over there. Should I even bother to try match it? I don't think I will bother. Hold up. 
Ah, it's all sage. There's a reason why I'm saving those, is because I got that one now. Most powerful. I got an idea. Oh wait, no, I have to win this round. Oh, he's got some of the other witches. Oh, I can how how am I meant to beat that? <laughs> uh, I'm not. I don't even think I can get close. Yeah, no, I can't. Damn. Fucking hell. God. Oh. Another round. Sure. Let's lay him out. I want to beat him and Gwent. I knew that was going to start coming, and thankfully, not a lot of my guys are sword guys, so I'm going to freeze. Make them all drop to value one. Oh, smart. The rain, that blocks a uh, siege, isn't it? Yeah. I don't have much in the ways of siege, so... If he places something... Oh, gosh. Can I get close? I think I can. Or I could not try it. Yeah. No, I'm gonna let him win this. Cause see, he's just placing there, getting rid of all those cards, cause those were all going to the discard pile. I don't think he's got any more decoys. So I'm gonna let him win that. Now he's at four cards. Smart. It's 
pretty tricky. I think I need more of the ice ability, right? Because you see the ice ability. Good God. Oh, you're back. Another sure. That's land. Hear me out. Yeah, so if I remove those ones. Yeah. This is okay, this is really good. I don't think I'll change anything about this. Now, I gotta remember, I don't have a clear weather, but... Yeah, I thought he was going to do that. I was hoping he would. Wait a minute. Dropped it down quite a bit. I could match that, but I don't think I will. I don't know why I did that then. That was stupid. That was a waste. These other ones. Oh wait, uh... I won. I just realized. I won. What? I said 29. Oh wait, that was a draw anyway. Damn it. My, I'm just going to act like I'm trying to match them, but I'm not.
You see how I'm like letting him put all these out? Then he's gonna use his ability. I beat ya. So I'm gonna take that back. Yeah, you passed. That means he's still got his freaking ability, but he has no decoys. He hasn't used a decoy. But he might use it in the last round, so. Oh, yeah, now he's just doubled his strength there. Oh, you smart ass. Oh, you... How did it know? You fucker. There's like no way I can match that. You see that? Fucker. The good God, so oh. We keep going. Another sure. Let's play. That's let me beat you. That's useful. That is very useful. I don't have too much... No okay, actually. I'm going to play with these cards. At least that didn't entice them to start playing all that cool crap. You see how he's doing all that? I'm letting him win the first round. Just use your ability. Ah, he didn't. Wait a minute. This will be the only way to win. But I think, yeah, that'll make it 10, 11, double. Don't make it tied with this. And 12. It's one way to get a win, but uh, I'm low on cards now. Ah, oh, crap. Beat me again, didn't he? Yeah. I need this battle horn. 
We are getting close, I'll oh. tell you that. We are getting really close, so I'm gonna keep trying. Another round. Sure. Let's lay him out. Swap that. And should I swap that? I'm just going to do this. I'm almost tempted to do that right up off the bat, but I'm not. Alright, now I will. Because I've got a few archers, so. Even if he doubles a shrimp. Oh, fucking now. It's like I had to use the decoy if I'm, but I want to. I need to make it a tie. Ah, oh, you fucking use the legend use ability. Wait, if I do that... Oh, you're doubling the shrimp. That was terrible for me. I don't like them. We'll return the crookback bog, I reckon. Usually it's like a fast travel thing. Oh, yeah, there it is. I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Go to the right! 
can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, Lord. Lass rode with them, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. All in! With the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down! Who's that? Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns fumbly. What will these hayseeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat at peasant mines. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. Mm -hmm. You know, you should, like, believe the Witcher. Huh. Come on. No, wrong thing. Crossbar. Oh, if you're rock feed here. I've been holding my sword like this when I play, uh, on the VR. Uh, it's quite, uh, funny. Ooh, crap. Too much hooch turns into that. The next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off drinking it down yourself. <laughs> no way, it's the law. Witcher, why are you here? Tell you later. Here we go. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. Always with the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her.
Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Look at that sword. I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! It's a fiend. Get ready. What was that? Wolves? That didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Come on. Oh, crap. <laughs> Come on. What was that? 
looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state? Oxen first? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood pie. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell. It must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit, a very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenford. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties. To the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. Hmm. What an emo teen. were made to kill monsters it doesn't matter who posted the notice the coin has to be right that's all witchers don't debate their conscience plays no part they just get on with it then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves quite wise thank you witcher Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. Hundred and fifty crowns. I could do nothing more. If she can be helped. I'm thinking. We get one of these uh, perks. Trillion points increase both weapon damage and sign intensity. That's actually really useful. Because I build up adrenaline points quite fast. Now, where was that fiend? Flame will burn away our sins. That was the fiend.
Let's go say hi to Tress. Here we go. Alchemy. We got a lot of types of oils here now. Need more wolf liver. Well, thankfully there's some wolves just down here, so... I know there were dogs, but... They sound like pirates. Keep moving. Here we go. Almost there. Even the rain smells like this, Jesus. Oh. Oi. Glory goat. The name. White hair. Arr. Hold up. But I'm not actually gonna suit. Much 
over till we get paid, you reckon? Ah, I don't know. Why, why me? Keep moving. And we fix it for you? No. I said I'd come to the wrong place. But he's so dumb. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? You can have another dumpling? <laughs> Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Ooh, the sword's a Shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? <sighs> Want me to help you get your supplies? Yep. How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Take it he's important in the underworld, too. Yes. What's more, he's on piss-poor terms with Cleaver, who backs Van Horn. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. You caught my attention. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. Oh. 
Officer, taking a rest from witch hunting. We'll do that. But first, let's go say hi to Tress. Otto, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not this dude, is it? Need some. It's like God. Wouldn't mind it. That was good. We're lucky then. Really? Alright, if you're gonna do that then. I'll take that back and I'll just place that. <laughs> that was, uh... Yeah. And he's doubling. 86! <laughs> what does everyone have the crones? And I beat ya. Ten crowns. Ah, uh, that card. That's for Nilfgaard. Got the spy for Nilfgaard. It might actually be decent enough to actually uh, play Nilfgaard soon. We want to play Grint with a lot of people, but let's go visit Tress. Any opportunity we get to play Grint, we play it, and we play it strong. Oh, jeez. Could survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. I want to let me to live like you. My 
don't belong to that guy thing witches in there. Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Hey, Sudder, we're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare Plenty here for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some hmm. rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Now I round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if there ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Hmm. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is... Gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow in. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorcerous pity shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake is inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be no. standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. What was that sword I got? Huh. It's not a bad sword. Herbs? Roots? Just turn. 
turn to healing. Hmm. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! He's a thief. He sensed something. Gotta stay further back. Stop, thief! Why the hell are you following me? Just happen to be going where you're going. And how the bloody hell do you know where I'm going? Hmm. Well, you're not as clever as you think. And I'm not blind. You're on your way to see the King of Beggars. Gonna rob me? Got any plowing idea what a courier is? This gold is from the non-humans. Take it, and you be fucked. Hmm. Like you'll be when I let a few people know you pocket some. Not all the non-human gold makes it to the king, does it? What the fuck are you on about? I don't pocket a thing. I'm not the one you need to explain this to. All this shot goes to the king, along with whatever I make. Uh -huh. Or actually think Bedlam would believe you? You're in for a fucking surprise. Come on, genius. Can't wait to see what he does to you. I knew that would happen. That was the whole point of us. And then he's gonna get called out as a fucking idiot for leading me there. Bloody easy, he says. <laughs> Almost there. This isn't it. Nosy bugger. Mm. Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the putrid grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Me. You have my word. A freak's bilgy gas, not more. How stupid do you think I am? Grab the horse, son! Smash the bugger! 
Yeah. Please. Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple answer. I thought the sword might help. Where's the putrid grove? In, in Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. See, just gotta make the effort. Oh, you scared. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes, invisible sword, my favorite. It was funny. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. I'm Grafians in town. All right, keep moving. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Wonderful. This life, sometimes it's a handful. You always wear tight trousers. That's weird. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Hmm. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill everything. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know him. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old sows, pharaoh's piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. Here we go. I'm taking a different route, but you still get a bunch of XP for that. What ails you? Can't see how one either. Picked him by the way. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See <laughs> you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding riverfish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Huh. So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxis. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. Hmm. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far reach council. City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. What do you want? A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddick of superstition 
farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. Huh. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. Here we go. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, act. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Madam Sorcerer. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Hmm. Triss Marigold. Right on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely. Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her. Here. No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Um, maybe Zoltan? Dandelion? Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. Oh. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait. A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then dive for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Mm. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went mad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue.
a lever on this wall that will open a secret passage. Free city of no plan. The game actually must have meant something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Hmm. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom, unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. He seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. It'll do wonders for my complexion. the parcel or did you get wet for no reason nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal found a few fish a rusty anchor the carcass of a boat oh and this oh my package hope the contents aren't soaked through oh you're a doll hmm a doll also yeah i swear to god hold up No. What I found interesting, though, was I think I, I think I got it. Ben Roach, yeah, a mastercrafted saddle. Thirty-five is better than twenty. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on, six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Well, well, ah! well. No, well. she just says wow every time you interact with her. It's like they at least kind of like mixed it up. They had to make sure dialogues. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine, a full purse of Novigrad crowns, as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like. 
at rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Yeah, man. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything hmm. there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promised to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So... Tell me how Yen's doing. How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? <laughs> Not bad, I don't know. Ah, she's fine. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Igni! <sighs> well, well. Our lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working. The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. I didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a burden left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. I will kill you. Both sides. I'm a bit powerful. If not for you... We need to find Brandon. Well, thankfully, he's just outside. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. 
I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least hmm. try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. All right. We got some work to do. One of the things that I was hoping to do oh. find a notice board. Yeah, notice board would be a uh, Pretty handy. Notice board should have something about Gwent. I was made for Looking to make some coin turn, Keep moving. Doof. Sorry. They say some witches spy for the black. Just passing by, wanderer, or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. You've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Hmm. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the park. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter. Call that my whim. Truth is, we're all gone. Huh. Go away! work the doll 
the attic. Stolen attic. Got it. Alright. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. There's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Here we go. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Leave it! I think Gerald actually I'm got scared. a little bit of a fright. Scared, is it not? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? Hey? If it looks like one and that's like one, trust me. You're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Hmm. Sarah. Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepy head. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Oh, that was, uh, sweet. Now the question is, do I hold on to the end of the deal with this 
godling, which I will, because these godlings are basically children. Green Tilly. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Here we go, Golden Sturgeon. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Quite the opposite. A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well, it shan't put me in the poorhouse. You can sell it off once they're godling. Well, leaves. If it ever does, you never know. I'm sure in a couple thousand years. I don't know how long godlings live for. It's quite an interesting one. How, how long do godlings live for? Let's find out. Let's ask good old Mr. Hey, Google here. Watch it. Double chase. How long do... You know? Does it happen to faultist again? Sir, adults or other children? Huh. Not many people. But apparently, they appear childlike to the end of their days, but. There's no actual, uh, you know, there's a total of three godlings that you meet in the Witcher. And are the souls of dead ancestors. It's all right. You get the coin back, guys. So. Uh... I also heard that uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Well, actually, I know that there's the fisty cups here. Master Claytop heartily greets the challenger. Oh Greetings yeah. Master Claytop from Geralt. Will you take up the challenge? Will you face our tavern's champion? <laughs> yeah, I'll fight this Gregorio fellow. Your attention, please. This fine witcher has agreed to join in battle with our tavern's champion, Georges George. Hmm. While our champion prepares, you and I should have a chat. Let us talk coin. I shall be blunt. You stand to earn a great deal, provided you follow a few recommendations. You asking me to cheat? Not to cheat. To engage in an enterprise, that is all. What say you? Bucket of coin for taking some hits to the face. Tempting offer. I'm in. What do I do? Nothing much. Throw some punches, not too many, mind. Then let him drop you. A warm welcome to our competitors as they enter the room. Yeah, I'm a bit 80, so let's find out how much we get more. George's George, the pile driver. May the better man win. So I had to let him take me on, but I have to put on a good fight. Should I let him? Should I? Yeah, I'll let him one. Mind the guards. No, we are. Congratulations! A beautiful fight. Hundred sixty, I get double. That's almost having an infinite money cheat because you could keep doing that. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer. It's about when you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then, but already I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? <laughs> no. No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falcon. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? something else. 
Dios. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri hmm. carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. no. Can we start? Natural. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and tell her, Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you know? Hmm. Dandelion. Maybe Dandelion. They like each other a lot. Dandelion's funny. Especially in this. It's a weird ass dream. Yeah, I know it. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. She seems very trustworthy. Probably comes of her profession, to be honest. You know, she's having to hear people's thoughts. There's probably like a consent agreement. <laughs> and there is a notice board. Let's go win this card. Oh wait, <gasps> it's my boy. Well, well. Look who's here, the White Wolf himself, in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You come to the right place. A better, a better rate, rate you find anywhere, find anywhere in the city. city. You come to this guy so much, he says that. How can I be of you play Gwent, don't you? Oh, sure. Because I'm a dwarf. Is that it? Do you also believe I know every other bleeding dwarf in existence, and at the end of each day, I deepen the mine shaft in my cellar? So you play or not? Aye, I play. <laughs> 
So play me. Stake a unique card, maybe? Why not? Let's see if we can beat this fella. This is where we start getting the actual unique cards. The decoys can be very useful. We got a lot of siege. Might remove one of the decoys. Oh wow, really? I'm gonna regret that. He starts with an extra card? Oh damn. Oh, I got an idea. Might have been a dumb choice, but... That's a good sign. What's his last card? Yes. I beat him by one. And I think I get Vizimir from you, don't I? I can't rightly recall the last time I was so thoroughly thrashed. The card's yours. Tried your best. Tell me, who else would have worthwhile cards? There's Marquis Serenity, for instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best decks in town and uses it damn well. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I thought we got Vizimir. Boom. Put Vizimir in our deck. We'll go back to that. Keep moving. I never come back, you stinking scadges. All we wanted was. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? Gladly. With pleasure. Oh, 
Oh. Alright. Fight a witcher. Oh. Oh my gosh. Plenty lately. Hmm. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. Just fine. Oh, no, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. <laughs> Where's Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your heart like a boar in some cold air? Or what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. I've no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. <laughs> Dandelion and planning, good one. Very good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. The dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Well, don't just stand there. Read. We might learn something. All right, let's have a read. Roses for Atari, like a roses, a bash of its chrisman hue. Fair Rosa would sink into humorous blue. She shunned her lesson in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden and closed villa even got off. Molly, 
though well she knows the touch of silk and lace she shuns not straw when gripping in lust embrace Oof. fun times of molly uh guild of villa next to the morgue Uh, Vespula, though timed and looks no adventure, did skip her. My heart mounts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Oh gosh. Papella, though she, her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. Looks like there's a reason why he's leaving them, too. Ethel, her figure most rare, her nature dull, look deep in her eyes, or be made a fool. Taylor shops crossed by the... Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. I wanted to ask you about someone. Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Something I like about him. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Oh, <laughs> poor bastard fled out the window. Pulled a bit. And rains. Oh. Oh. She had a pee pee. My boy. <laughs> Vespula. Her name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Yes, soul flames never die. Rose of our. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility. Civility. A dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of our atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Guihir? As an of guardian aristocrat with the imperial legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric, but we Rosa preferred sorely. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one it seems. Week on week we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. <coughs> so bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Hmm. <laughs> victim. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard would be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Hmm, yeah. I think Geralt notices something he says about Ethel. Well, no, about that one. I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Alright, time to go on a date hunt.
I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? No. Oh. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. That's not completely true, but okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men will help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you? Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? <laughs> not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful, sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. <laughs> what do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Hmm. This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ah, Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah. Maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Ah. Got a bunch of XP for that one. Here's Etho. Well, welcome, welcome. Do come in. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Howe? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Ellie Howe was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any <laughs> better? So you are... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. 
That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Huh. Why do you dress I that way? This is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. You got a point there. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Um. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times yeah. to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Any chance you also play Gwyn? Greetings. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. We got Vizimir now. Maybe we'll be lucky. Oh yeah, we got Vizimir in our deck. No. <laughs> it's funny how you can do that. A roach. There we go. Vesemir! This is Alden. That's just range though. And then you clear the weather effects for me. Well, thank you. Crowns Fire Elemental, huh? Monsters.
Won't let them boss you around, eh? White-haired one. Hello, guy. Um, the halfling. Washed your hair lately? Oh. oh. Go over to the next place over here. Sure do love playing Gwent. <laughs> 